loves his projectiles. Um, you will very rarely see him use Link's Grab. It is one of the worst grabs in the game. Um, but Multi Ball is, has been known that if he misses a grab with Link, yep. he makes himself do five push ups after the set. Yeah. So. And he has already worked himself up a debt. He does not take a break on friendlies. Oh, good get up back there. All that right. boomerang will hit. I really do like Link against the Puffball matchup. I mean, other than, you know, Link just being a very, very bad recovery character. A character with a terrible recovery. I mean, beyond that, he can be oppressive if you know how to use him. And he has those big, needy hitboxes. Yeah, and he's got the, the projectiles for sure. Um, you can put Link in a good spot. Um, even if the projectiles don't hit, um, good links can use projectiles to just basically move their opponent where they want. Yeah, and that forward air is going to kill from the other side of the stage. Yeah, Link's forward air is super strong. And Kirby is kind of having to weave and dodge through all of these. Uh... Oh, up there. So oh, well makes it back there. Yeah, missed opportunity for Cracker Jones there. That is a lot more percent and possibly even a stock because he, uh, he couldn't turn around. That bomb, he throws it up in the air. Oh, oh wow, that reverse hit, the weak hit. You know, Multiball has been gone has gone on record saying, you know, I don't intend to do everything that happens, but if it happens, I'm not complaining. He's just he's spamming bombs and boomerangs as Multiball is kind of a uh, play style. Just spam as many projectiles as you can. Yep, you have to, as your as uh, multi balls opponent, you kind of have to change your play style to weave and dodge through this wall of projectiles that he throws at you in order to get an opening. Uh, then another as as forward air. As soon as you think you're close enough, you just get hit with a sword in the face. It is uh, an interesting play style to adapt to, and looks like Cracker Jones hasn't quite done it well enough yet. Yeah, if you don't know the matchup, it can definitely give some people some struggle. Some struggle. Uh, trouble. Okay, manages to get back to stage. Oh, that roll on and then jab. That was actually really good. Yeah. Oh, misses the Z cancel, but the boomerang's gonna help. There we go. Yeah, you gotta remember the boomerang comes back. It always comes back. Here it comes. Yeah, oh, wow, and he that turned that reverse turned edge guard. Down for himself. Oh, uh, yeah, that's oh, gonna good be back it. Here. So I'll go with a three to one lead here, but Link's stocks can disappear very quickly if he's not careful. Absolutely. I like how multi-ball doesn't always throw the boomerang at where you are. Uh, and half the time he's throwing it. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> such a uh, quick and good conversion from multi-ball. Yeah. If you want to be a good link main, you have to use your boomerang for three things. Number one, if, if your opponent is going to be in a certain place, just throw it at where they are. Number two, if you think that they're going to be in one place, throw it to where they're going to be. And then wow, three, throw the boomerang where you don't want them to go. Because if they go there, then they're going to get in the boomerang. Yeah. It goes off the um, route of escape. Yeah, for sure. A lot of links use boomerangs as tech chases. Yep. Um, you can get multiple boomerang hits off just uh, simply just tech chasing. Mm -hmm. So multiple takes game one pretty convincingly. Let's see if Cracker Jones can adapt and kind of avoid. He's been getting hit with a lot of projectiles from multiple. So I want to see how he adapts to um, kind of the spacing around those. Yep. I think the thing that Cracker Jones needs to get past is even when he gets past the, um, the projectiles, he thinks that he's safe. And he doesn't realize that there's still a character that you have to play against once you get past yeah, that wall. Sure. So he needs to play safe even after he gets past the, that wall of projectiles. Like right there, that was... He kind of just threw a move out because he got past the boomerang. Yeah, going to so get he, the weak he, hit, but... Yeah, he gets the weak hit of up B, but he's still in an edge guarding position, but he, Cracker Jones makes it back. Oh, 
but Craig Jones at extremely high percent, and that forward it'll take it. So yeah. Muzzball takes the first stock here. At that, at that percent, the boomerang is going to pop you up just so nicely. Yep, like There's you said. that boomerang. Protect chasing. Keep going. There it is. Yep. So Carter Jones teched in place, I think, three times in a row there and got hit with a boomerang every time. And then when he finally teched in, um, he didn't get hit. He so he avoided it. Wow, great recovery from uh, multi ball there, knowing that the Kirby was going to go up there with a the down air. And another great recovery, hitting him with his up B. Ooh, okay. I don't think he wanted that. I think he wanted a flat drop forward air. And Link's up smash actually not that good. Doesn't really link well together, ironically. Um, so at that higher percent, only the first hit's going to hit. But he does manage to clean up that stock. Leaves that boomerang sitting there. He picks up the bomb. Just up air after up air after up air. Wow, and great combo do there. It. I don't know if it was true, but it uh, it worked. I don't think it was true either, but I don't think Cracker Jones saw him going for another one every time that he did. Cracker Jones recognizing that the uh, boomerang was coming back this time. So multiple off stage, he's wow. He he's really good at using he's that. Making, to, he's he's making the most out of Link's very bad recovery. Yeah, and, and that was a three stock and a four stock. That's it. Wow. Good showing for multiple there.